What is up, everyone? This is Halloween Hunter here, and today I'm actually going to be announcing my first haunt build of the Halloween 2019 season, and this is on my haunted house. Um, so, if you guys haven't been on my channel for the past few years, you guys might know that I do haunt builds, and I, I kind of just build my haunted house, and then on Halloween, of course, I actually show it. And um, last year, uh, or like in, it started in 2015, and I've been doing it every year, but 2018, I feel like, was the start of a new year for my haunted house. It was my Philo Time haunted house where I created a clock tower display that was based off Spirit Halloween's theme from 2016. And um, I didn't start haunt builds till like October since I didn't really want to post anything else before then. But as you guys know, it's like two weeks before Halloween and I have not posted a haunt build, so I better post something. And you know, uh, my haunted house this year is called the Dark Harvest. It is basically a farm barn theme, just a harvest. I know Jane's videos calls his the Dark Harvest for his haunted house, but I'm just gonna say this before anyone asks. I did make my haunted house name in November. It was November. It was November 10th, 2018, where I made my 2019 haunt. So if anybody is wondering, I don't, I didn't get my idea off Jaden. It was my idea i don't know if he made his earlier or his you know just alone but it is not a copy but i did not film any clips for my haunted house build for this stupid time if you can see right here it's a werewolf den this is based off the 2012 barn theme section and i decided to recreate it for my haunted house it's not going to be a, a huge piece like the clock tower was but it is going to be a piece that is actually pretty big still um there's going to be actually, this time in Haunted House, there's going to be three rooms. There's going to be two other ones I won't be building like a big thing for. And this is the last room, and this is what I'm going to use it for. So this thing was fairly more easier than the clock tower, I think, because it's... We didn't have to build so much. And, like, the clock tower had, like, three pieces. And this thing actually didn't take them long. Um, It's not finished yet because we still have to do the spray painting in the top of the werewolf den. As you can see in this picture, like, the, the very top with the... Um, kind of like the roof. I mean, we haven't done that yet, but we're going to. It's probably going to be made of foam board. It's going to be very, very easy. Like, it's not going to be that hard. But, um, we're basically almost done. The only thing we got to do is, and we do have the light. We did actually buy the light, but I'll discuss that in the second part of this werewolf den prop, not prop, uh, haunt build. Um, so yeah, so here's some progress so far. In this first, I didn't take any really clips of me kind of doing a time lapse me like setting it up or like building it because i have been fairly distracted by school and work for sports and just other stuff and i just wanted to get my job done for the haunted house i was just like you know i'm just gonna do it right away and not have to worry about posting on youtube not that youtube is in the way but i didn't want to like get distracted so um i did take some clips you can see in this first clip we have the actual pieces of the wood being built not being built sorry we, we bought these pieces as you can see some were cut some are cut because we were cutting this in and we, we were cutting them in this clip but yeah so this next clip is actually us actually cutting it um me and my dad kind of worked on this at night time and then on the i think it was a sunday we actually started putting it together as you can see in this uh picture it is being put together and then in this picture right here, which is popping up in a bit, is going to be the actual werewolf den kind of, um, destruct, like, not destruction, sorry, construction around it, um, basically the frame being made. And as you can see here, it really isn't that bad of a build. We used two by fours, and we had a saw. We used nails, we didn't use any screws because our drill wasn't working, so we used, like, nails instead, which is fairly easy still. Um, and then, um... We did go to Home Depot and actually buy plywood in this photo. As you can see, the plywood is already built. And the reason why I didn't film any clips of me actually cutting down the plywood to fit on this is because the plywood was actually cut at Home Depot because apparently Home Depot has this thing where you can like, uh, like, like this machine where you can cut wood. So we used that and that's what we got. And in this clip right here, as you can see, the, the werewolf den is basically almost done. 
And um, I did get some supplies to do the spray painting, the painting. I've already started the spray painting, but I'll show it in the second part of the uh, second video of this build. Um, so yeah, so here is the overall progress of the werewolf den for my haunted house this year. It is based off the Spirit Halloween 2012 barn scene with Limerper, Howler, and a Wolf Spitter. But I'm not going to have Howler, of course. And in the picture, you can see it is Hable Popper, if you can tell it's Hable Popper, in the Werewolf Den, and, and uh, Wolf Spitter is not in it. Uh, don't worry, guys, it's, if you're wondering, it, that's going to be switched. Uh, Wolf Spitter will be in that. And uh, Hable Popper will be like on the kind of the outside, um, kind of next to the Werewolf Den, if we can fit any room. So, yeah. We said to get some hay bales also, and I do have my light already for the werewolf den. I, I'm using it from a 2016 light that I had, and yeah, so that's basically the progress of the werewolf den. I'll make sure to discuss more about it in the next haunt build, but for now guys, that is it, and I'll see you guys later, and goodbye.